Every night. Every night. Live. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Live. She be getting it. 365? Don't miss. Live. Babe, can I use your phone to order some food, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Thanks, Um, What's your passcode? 5522. Five, five, you know, that's like really sweet of you. Yeah. Guys don't give their passcodes out like that. No, they don't. Do you want some food? Yeah, you can order me some. Uh... What is that? Just look right there. Why do I have your phone? Oh, I don't, I don't know. How was your food? What food? Told you. Yo, you gotta let me borrow that. Let me, let me borrow just for the weekends. Just this weekend, specifically. I need it for this weekend. Let me borrow it. Were you ever a drug addict? Yeah. What were you addicted to? Women. I'm shot for right now, right now, right now, right now. I'm shot for. Cheers! Success, baby. Success. Mm hmm. Oh! <clears throat> bro. Right? Damn! Right? Wait, what were you drinking, bro? It's just water. Water. It's just water. Okay, water. Yeah. It's just no water. Water. Ay. It's just Ay. water. It's just holy water. That is holy water. You've been blessed. Happy birthday, babe! Hey, thank you! So I got everything you wanted for your birthday this year. No way! Yeah, let's go outside. Are you serious? Yeah. See? I told you. Yo! Oh my god! You got me the brand new car! What, what? You got me a pony! <laughs> oh my god, what's up, brother? Yo, you got me a pony! See? Everything you've always wanted. Wait. What's wrong? Where's my HBO Max subscription? I gave you your dream car, the pony you've always wanted since you were a kid. I forgot. I'm sorry. Baby, I don't think it's going to work. All you had to do was use my HBO subscription to access HBO Max. I'm breaking up with you. Come on. What? No, babe, wait. Babe, wait. I gave you everything. Come back. Oh, my God. You ready? I'm ready. Wild card, skip you, the color's red, uno. Damn. I'm about to win this. <laughs> skip you, reverse back to me, reverse back to me, draw four. Matter of fact, draw eight. The color's yellow. Uno, out. I know what it's like to lose. Feel so desperately that you're right. Yet to fail. Um, so what does D-O-G make? What can you make from that? Dog, God. Mm, dog and God? Okay, that's that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, what about S A W? Saw, was. Saw, and was. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's dope. As. Oh, oh and you got as. Yep. Sorry. So, what can you and I make? <laughs> you and I. Um... A baby. <laughs> oh my God, babe, are you okay? Ma'am. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down, sir. Everything's gonna be all right. Baby, call my family. Okay, okay. So tell me, fuck nigga, did you smash? Mm, nigga, I'm dying. But did you smash, though? Blue and yellow make green, don't it? Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly make a sandwich? Yeah, that's true. So man and woman, they make a baby. Oh, no, 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 he ain't saying shit. Nigga, I'm gonna be smashed. So if you had to send somebody a gift, how would they get it? Amazon. FedEx. UPS. If you had to send somebody money, how would they get it? PayPal. Venmo. Western Union. And if you had to send somebody some loving, how would they get it? Oh, smash! Yeah! Yeah! Come on, man. Come on. You still ain't answer the question. Did you smash, fuck nigga? Hey, wake up! Yeah! Yeah! Did you smash? You already know the answer. He's gone. He's gone. Did you smash? Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah. No. no. That'll be a thousand eight hundred eighty-four. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. day. You too. <laughs> Bye. How you doing? Hi. Eighty-nine cents. Um. Uh, just one second. 
There's a lot of counterfeits coming through, sir. We just gotta make sure it's Counterfeit. okay. It's a dollar. Give me a second, please. Thank you. Is it real? It's a dollar! Hey, I'm just gonna grab some stuff. I'll pay you Tuesday. Is that fine? Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Hell no! Hey, you need a hand with that? Here, hold this. Here. I got it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to give this back. I can't take this. Can you put away the nutty butters? Thank you. Put your hand oh! in the rail. <sighs> Feels good to leave the States, bro. We blessed. We should do this more often. Another day, another vacation. Hey, hey look at them girls, bro. Hey. I'm gonna go get their number. How you doing? Right back. Hey, get one for me. Oh. You oh, can't hit. hit the camera, bro. Oh, I didn't know that if I was gonna hit it, that the, the green screen was gonna pop up. Oh my god, man. I, 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 what's my thought? I didn't know that it was gonna do that. You don't commit. You probably don't even have nothing in your cup. I have something in my cup. You, your tap water in here. It's not even a real drink. I committed, though. Turn it off. Oh, what's up, bro? I'm what's going on? What's up, man? Yo, yeah, what's up? I need some advice, man. Are you serious? You can't get relationship advice from a single man. <laughs> He's gonna smash our girl. Like, that's it. We're gonna lose our girl. We're gonna lose her. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're listening to that hothead. This is the best decision we ever made. Storm has always given us the best advice. <sighs> Dave Storm always knows what to say. He gives the greatest advice. Girl, he could probably treat us exactly like we're supposed to be treated. What are you thinking about? What's up? I feel like I'm losing my girl, bro, and I just don't know what to do. Oh, this is what we do. We help our friends. Let them know. So, yeah. Soon as they break up, dog, we in there. She all mine. That's all me, baby. That's all me. So what's up? Sometimes you gotta love yourself first, bro. I mean, I love me. She belongs to the streets. Let her play in traffic. Adam, what up? Yo, what up? Hey, hey, you got the hundred dollars you owe me? Oh, the, the hundred. We definitely have the hundred. We have two fifty in our pocket right now. Oh no, 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 no. We've been saving up for that PS Five. You can wait. Yeah, I, I don't have it this week, but, but I, I'll have it for you the following week. Now nah, you said that last week. Now nah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I'll holler at you. We'll be fine. It's just another week. We should have made him run them pockets. He had the money. Yo, paper or plastic? Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. Paper or plastic, things will get drastic if you don't answer. What? Yep. You gotta choose paper or plastic, just like a dancer. No, I don't. Paper or plastic, paper or plastic, paper or plastic. I, I don't know. Paper or plastic, paper or plastic, paper or plastic. Just give me the plastic. Ignorant bastard. How the hell you just gonna disrespect me? Plastic ends up at the bottom of the sea. You the one who asked, ain't that about a bee? It's less resources, let's be cautious. I ain't gonna force so it. This your choice. Alright, give me the paper, please. Damn, you must really hate the trees. You know how much wood that it takes to make these? No more debating, I just want my groceries so I can leave Nope, paper or plastic, things will get drastic if you don't answer Seriously? You gotta choose paper or plastic just like a dancer I chose both Paper or plastic, paper or plastic, paper or plastic I, I, I don't know anymore Paper or plastic, paper or plastic, paper or plastic Uh, excuse me, can I check out? Yeah, uh, paper or plastic I brought my own bag, it's biodegradable Dope It's time for things only 1% of people can do only 1% of people can bend their finger at the top joint. Check it out. Ah! Ah, look at that. Do at this video and let me know who's in the 1%. Double tap it and follow me and I'll come back with more. Yo, I'm so happy I finally made the 1%. Story time. So me and this girl been kicking it for some time now. We watch movies together, cook together, even finish each other's sentences. Oh no. <laughs> So one day we're on the couch watching her favorite show and she looked me in the eye. Must be a sign. Now up until this point, none of us have dropped the L word, but I knew it was time. I stared back and said, I love you. What's wrong? I make you happy. I take care of you. You need a man. You need me. You're not going to say it? Say what? Say you love me. <sighs> Baby, you know how I feel. Then say it. Say you love me. She threw back the warm, cozy, knockoff Snuggie that I provided her and said, I love me. I was devastated. I lost the feeling in my legs and I fell down holding my chest. This is 2020. How could you be so confident, so independent? I was disgusted. How could you love yourself so much? You're supposed to depend on others, listen to slow songs by Drake, and have trust issues. <laughs> Story time.
I haven't seen Percy the Peacock in a week. I wonder if he flew to a new neighborhood. I think I'm starting to miss chasing my feathered friend. Then I heard an unfamiliar sound outside my door. Percy, is that you? I called for Percy, but there was no response. Just a clue on my front porch. This can't be. First peacocks, then bluebirds, now there's chicken. Chickens? Anxiously, I proceeded to the sidewalk to see if my mind was playing tricks on me. It wasn't. Come here. Come here. Here, yeah, chicky, 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 chicky. What is a chicken doing in my neighborhood? I tried to catch her, but she was moving too fast. When I catch her, I'll call her Nugget. I did a final lunge for Nugget, but she scooted and ran away. Next time. Ah. I'll be back. It's summertime and I'm bummed. Music festivals are canceled, concerts are canceled. Is it any way this can still happen? Of course, in my dreams. Woo! I stood at the top of my bed and fell back. I was at a pool party filled with ladies. The music was crazy and can't get any better than this. But then, I woke up. This is a pee. Gotcha. What you call it? Agua. Balenciaga! No, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me, no, no, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. Story time. I found out there's a peacock living in my neighborhood keeping me up at night. His name was Percy. I recorded some peacock sounds from YouTube to lure Percy closer, but he only got as close as my neighbor's rooftop. I re-recorded female peacock sounds and decided to try again. By the time I returned outside, Percy was gone. Then miraculously, I heard Percy closer than I ever heard him before. That's crazy. He was right outside of my window. I ran downstairs to grab my bullhorn. Catch me outside, Percy. How about that? By the time I got outside, he was no longer on the roof. This time, my bullhorn was locked and loaded. I played the sound of the female peacock, and Percy replied, There he is. I realized my neighborhood's filled with exotic birds. There was a blue jay on the street sign. The blue jay flew to the ground, and I slowly approached. Ah, but you're not, Percy. I slowly began to approach. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. Now that we've met, I want to see you shake your tail feathers. So I kept playing the female peacock sounds, but he wouldn't open his feathers. I'll be back. I was frustrated. Oh, this is not over, Percy. The war has just begun. Things only 1% of people can do. I don't even know what part it is anymore. I got this one. Only 1% of people are able to touch their tongue on their nose. And I've been practicing. Check it out. Not even close. Can you do it? Not even close. Damn, we not in the 1%. Yo, do like this video if you're in the 1%. Double tap it and follow me, and I'm gonna come back with more. Story time, part three. Paranormal activity was going on in my house, so I installed a ghost meter. The ghost meter went off, and when I checked for activity, something or someone was in my guest bedroom. At 3 a.m. every morning, they rumbled through my drawers and even spelled haha with my socks. Apparently, this ghost thinks I'm a bitch. I couldn't catch him, so I installed a camera, and you wouldn't believe what I saw. This fool was junking up the room and jumping on the bed. He was having a good old time. So disrespectful. This time, when I bust in a room, I used the camera to guide me where the ghost was. I know you here. I kept swinging my bat, hoping I'd catch him, but the ghost was jumping it like it was hopscotch. Huh. Oh, I'ma get you. He hit me in the face with some clothes and I fell to the floor. Ugh. By the time I unmasked my face and got back to my feet, I realized that the sound that I heard was the ghost hitting the floor and running out the door. And just like that, the ghost was gone. You'll be back and I'll be waiting. You ready? I thought you was gonna cook something. Hold on. Hold this. What are you doing? Babe, what the hell are you doing? Why do you have bread in the... Yo, you was wildin', son. What is you doing right now? I was just saying that because I thought that we, we don't have to do... Since I never cook for you. This is my magic wand. I'm gonna do... What are you Your doing? Your wand is dirty. Listen, I'm gonna make this lemon uh -huh. go under this cup right here. Okay. So I just alakazoom, alakaze, all right? Now, sense. boom, see? It's under there, right? Boom, now, I'm gonna, and you see it disappeared from the other cup. So yeah. now I'm gonna make it go under this cup right here, you this see? One? Yep, this one right here. Alakazoom, alakaze. See, it's gone. Disappeared again, see? It's all magic, I'm trying to tell you it's magic. That's oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can, I, Can I do a magic trick? All right, cut the camera. One centimeter to the left and we'll lose this patient.
Hannah has to draw what I draw on my paper, but she only can feel it, all right? Now, I'm going to give you a hint. It's something that she always wanted, all okay. right? You okay. ready? Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh my God, it's a bike. Yeah, it's a bike. What did you... What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. The weather's perfect. I even saw two squirrels fall in love. Everybody remembers the ice cream truck. Comes down your block playing those memorable jingles and sometimes even that racist remix. Last in the music this time was a car and he claimed he was selling nuts. Peanuts? Is that a lucrative business? You'd be surprised. I told him I'm allergic to nuts. I'm allergic to peanuts. Then he tried to upsell me. I also have nutmeg. He said he had the nuts in his car. I didn't believe that shit. Liar. I went to open the passenger side door and to my surprise, the car exploded with nuts. <sighs> I was wrong. He did sell nuts. I was embarrassed by my actions because I ruined half of his inventory. He sped off. Who is this mystery nut crusader? I had to know his name. What's your name? Nutman. Nutman, a hard-shelled hero. Keep changing the world one nut at a time, my friend. Hey, yo, what you doing? Ordering some food online, about to get me some cereal. Okay. Yep, let me get these Fruit Loops real quick. Wait, hold on, how you do that? Yo, hold on, let me get some water, dog. Shoot, let me get this water real quick. Yo, come on, how yo, you do hold that? Hold on, can I pay the dude? Wait, hey, give me that, man. Hey, that's what you're oh, 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 oh. No, Story time. Recap. When I was young, my uncle said he'd show me how to make a slingshot, but ultimately he didn't, so I decided to make it myself. I found my branch, chopped my wood, and carved my prize. Now it's time to see if my slingshot works. Although I could have roamed my block and found little rocks and pebbles, I decided to go with good old slingshot ammunition. I stacked a soda can on top of two glass jars, and now I have a target. Why not make it a competition? I invited Janina to see who's a better shot. You think you can shoot? I know I can. Stand on the concrete and go to cans over there. After a few close calls, we were right on it. Pah! Pah! Straight down through the V at your target. I cracked the glass on one of the jars. Janina one up me and cracked the glass even more. Next, I ripped through the tin can. Like butter. I moved in closer. I pushed my slingshot to the limit by pulling as far back as it can go. Bam! Finally, the glass shattered. Yeah! My slingshot needs some surgery, but it works. <laughs> Story time. When I was eight years old, my uncle had a wooden slingshot, and he promised me the next summer he'd show me how to make one. The next summer came around, and my uncle moved away. I never got to make that slingshot. Now that I'm grown, I said, what the hell? I'm gonna make me a wooden slingshot. My first task was to find the perfect wood. I searched the neighborhood for old branches. Some were too small, while others were rotten. I pulled out my saw and started cutting. Once I had my prized wood, I had to remove the bark. After about 30 minutes of sawing, I had the perfect piece of wood for my slingshot. I began filing it down to the perfect grip and making sure that the belly was deep enough. I turned in for the night and the next morning I went right back to work on my slingshot. I used baby filers to put grooves around the arms to hold the rubber bands. I took 220 sandpaper and began buffing to even out the wood. Then on to the 320 to make it smooth as a baby's bottom. Then coconut oil to bring out the wooden glow. I attached the rubber bands to my slingshot. Now all I need is a patch. I cut some leather off an old backpack and attached it to my slingshot. Finally, I'm ready to go. Got my slingshot. Look at that. Woo! Better watch yourself. <laughs> What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. The sun is out, the birds are chirping, and kids are out playing. <sighs> I picked the perfect block. My neighbors are great. Shit, I even got some front lawn furniture. All swings, finally drama free. Oh, he got the wrong one. Alright. Oh, hell no. Please tell me that's a mechanic. Hey, you see somebody in a gray shirt with the door? Nah. Nah, I didn't. <laughs> I ain't see shit. Story time, the finale. I found an old box that came in two colors, one black and one green and was left by true lovers. I was confused on which side to open. The fans said go green, so I followed their notion. After inserting a king and a queen, the bottom popped open and there lied a ring. I wondered about love and how much they hurt, but what's even worse, my biggest concern was, man, how much is this ring worth? Damn, this joint nice. This 
when we thought 2020 couldn't get any worse, now we have Asian murder hornets. Deadly species of giant hornet has just been found in the US. The murder hornet has a venomous sting that can kill a human. They were spotted in Washington state. They have toxic stingers that can even penetrate a beekeeper's suit. <laughs> the murder hornet is about two inches long and they prey on honeybees. One beekeeper said he found thousands of his bees heads ripped off. 60,000 honeybees torn apart in a savage attack. The Department of Agriculture said they don't usually fuck with humans and the public, you and me, can help trap the hornets. They said you can set up plastic bottles filled with orange juice and rice cooking wine. If I see one bee, I get nervous. Anything that can rip off a thousand bees heads in an hour, I'm not fucking with. Tim Lawrence, director of Washington State University, who had a run-in with the murder hornet, said the general public should avoid them at all costs. I think I'm going to listen to Tim on this one. Welcome to Jumanji. Recap. I went on a treasure hunt and found a gold time capsule buried near my old tree. The time capsule contained four items. An old red seal $2 bill, a small paper with writing on it, a miniature king and queen, and what looked like a letter, but it was written in all numbers. I spent the rest of the day trying to make up my own story for what I found. And then I kept noticing at the bottom of the paper it read, remember A equals 1. Maybe it's Morse code. Nah, this is different. I said it's a long shot, but what the hell. I matched each letter of the alphabet with the numbers 1 through 26 in chronological order. It worked. It took some time, but I was able to decipher the letter. Dear Reba, our family feud landed you far away from me. If you ever make it back to sunny California, then it's promised you found this letter waiting for you under the first place we kissed. I left something special for you buried in the woods where we first shared each other's bodies and souls. Why do we live in such a cruel world where the hearts are always challenged? Love always, Richard. I just dug up the story of torn lovers. Now the smaller piece of paper makes sense. Woodley Park must be the woods he spoke about in the letter. As a long shot, I entered these numbers as coordinates and I'll be damned. I'm going to find what's buried in the woods. Story time. When I was young, my only dream was to find buried treasure. I even dug up my mom's backyard as a kid and got my ass whooped. Now that I'm grown, I can live out my fantasy. I decided to buy a metal detector. I bought the whole shebang. My trusty baby digger. You had to have a pinpointer. A mini shovel that I love so much. Some headphones so I can hear when I find my booty. And of course, my beautiful metal detector. Since we stuck inside, I said, why not do some detecting around my own house for fun? First, I roamed around in my backyard to see if my detector worked. Oh, it's working. After spending an hour of search, and finding nothing but a few coins in a water hose pipe, I realized that the only thing original on my property was the old tree in the front. Well, I focused on that damn tree and my metal detector started going crazy. I started to dig vigorously around that tree. Then I hit something. I pulled out my baby digger and did more detailed digging. I saw the top of what looked like a golden can. It looked old. I didn't know what it was. Maybe it's a time capsule from the people who used to own the property. I used every muscle in my body to try to get it open, but it wouldn't budge. I smashed it against the tree. I felt it loosen and when it finally opened, you never guess what was inside. Random thing in my smart home that just make sense. I don't have to worry about searching for my keys because I have a keyless entry that I could unlock with a code on my phone. If I'm carrying, so I've seen videos like this before. They say if you move the plate fast enough, then the egg will fall into the cup. All right. Now you've never seen this before. Never. So we're gonna do it at the same time. We'll count the three, and then me and O gonna pull these plates. <laughs> what do you think will happen? I don't know. You want to do it? Let's do it. All right. One, two, three. Oh! oh! <laughs> yo, I didn't believe it at first. I was like, yo. Oh, that's lit. It worked. It worked. Come on, man. Grab it. Grab it. <laughs> Story time, part three. The other day I found a letter written in numbers under my old tree. After decoding the letter, I realized it was a love story. They left an address to some woods with more buried treasure. I packed my metal detector, grabbed a few homies, and we drove to the coordinates. Now over time, access to these woods must have been denied because there was a fence block in the entry. After climbing through the hole in the fence and going down this shady path, we finally reached the area on the map. We searched for about an hour and then the metal detector went crazy. This has to be the spot where the lovebirds used to meet. So we began digging. It was hot as hell. Eventually we hit something hard about a foot down. Just like last time, I dug it out. It was a small green and black box with two pins coming out each side. There was no way to open the box. We had to be careful not to break it. It could be worth a lot of money or we could ruin what's inside. I said, let me check the hole one more time for a key. Although there was no key, I shuffled through the hole and I found an old piece of paper that read, push the proper pin or the box locks forever. Wow, that's a lot of pressure and I can't screw this up. So I'm gonna leave it up to y'all. Leave a comment and let me know which side I should pick. I'm about to prove to y'all that LA tap water is better than most of the water you buy at the store. This liquid tells the pH in water. The closer it is to the orange side, the worse the water. The closer it is to the purple side, the better the water. Time to get my tap. 
Okay, I'm gonna make smart water Batman. Since this is supposed to be the wet best water, I'm gonna make that Superman. We'll make Fiji, Flash, and we'll make Arrowhead Green Lantern. And of course we have my nobody, regular tap. So now we're gonna add two drops to each bottle. That's two drops, a little bit there, two three drops there, a few drops there, and a few drops there. Looks like Superman's winning because that's completely purple. The flash is a little bit green. Let's see if tap can keep up with these waters. Okay, put it in the tap. Oh my God, look at tap. Tap actually beat out the flash. Tap beat out. Batman. So this proves that you can actually drink California tap water from the sink. Yo, once this quarantine is over, I gotta get back in the gym, man. My body gotta get right. Oh, I'm about to hit this workout right now. You wanna join me? I got some emails to send, actually. You know how this influencer lifestyle is. Emails to Big Bang. Yep, Big Bang. It's fashion over. Fashion over. But I'm gonna get to you, ma'am. No, it's okay. I'll wait. <laughs> Oh, you still here? I gotta head back to the grocery store, man. I gotta get some lemons and limes. I heard that deflect the whole corona stuff. Coronavirus? We can do that later another time, if you don't mind. It's okay, I'll wait. I'll be here. Thanks, store. I'm sorry, man. Hey, I promised my girl I'll take her to the movies tonight, man. Yeah, babe, we gotta go. Yeah, we'll, we'll catch you later. Oh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Oh, no, I'll wait. That boy won't leave. I'm waiting. Hey, yo, my bad, bro, man. I couldn't make it. I got to work in the morning. I got to get up early. No, it's okay. Get your rest. I'll wait. Bro, I don't want to work out. I'll wait. Bye. And my mama said I can have anything I want. And if I don't get it, then... Oh, you okay? Come on, get up. You're all right. It's not that bad. Things only 1% of people can do, part four. Only 1% of people can move one eyebrow, like the rock. Let me see if I, let me see if I, I can't really, uh, I guess it's a little bit. Oh, y'all let me know if I'm doing it. Anyway, do at this video and let me see who's in the 1%. Double tap it and follow me and I'll come back with a part five. So check this out. I went to my storage, right? And I found this old iPod from 2013. This is crazy. I just want to open it up to see what the home screen looks like and what the apps look like. So let's compare it to the phone today. Like, look at the phone today. That's what Facebook looks like. That's what Instagram. We have Uber now, Chase. That's TikTok. So if we open up this old tiny iPod, look how little iPods used to be. So I'm going to open it up. Okay, it says Wednesday, December 31st. That was the last day of the year when I opened this thing up in 2013. So let's see. The password probably was 1111. No, 2222. No. Maybe zero, 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 zero. Oh, yo, look, look what, look what, oh snap, look, vines on there. You got, look what Instagram used to look like. Feed's not even around anymore. This is crazy. Yo, like this video and I might open up these messages or even open up these pictures right here. Hey, yo, what kind of music you be playing to get your girl in the mood? I don't know, maybe some Marvin Gaye, you know, something chill. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What about you? Drake? What? Uh, that's, that's like Michael, Michael Jack. Sad. <laughs> it's time for weird facts you didn't know. Part 13. 3,500 calories is one pound. So if you want to lose 10 pounds, just burn 35,000 calories. The word salary comes from the word salt. Salt used to be so rare that they used it to pay for things. Hey man, let me get two cars, a PlayStation and a horse. Your eyes blink about 20 times a minute. 20% of people in the world live on less than a dollar a day. So if you think you poor. The thong accounts for 25% of the woman's underwear market. I guess ladies love that thong, the thong, thong, thong. Only 1% of people can pretzel head with their arms. The goal is to put your arms out, cross them, bring them in, and then stick your head through. I can't do it. Come on! Yo, make sure you heart this video and follow me for more. Show me your favorite hat, your most expensive hat, your most recent hat, your biggest hat, your smallest hat, 
the hat you hate the most? Your favorite color hat? Your cutest hat? What's up world? I got this cool game for y'all to play. It's called Rap Names. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the first letter of your first name and you're gonna put it with one of these words. Then you'll take the first letter of your last name and you'll put it with one of these words. Then you're gonna put the two words together and that'll be your official rap name. Leave a comment in the comment section so I can see all the crazy names y'all come up with. How dudes shoot their shot through the decades. Hey doll, I got a couple plans. What do you say you and me go cut a rug? Jeepers, that cracks me up. Listen, if you're not circled and ain't got a couple curtain climbers, then maybe we can go out. You're such a dreamboat. Damn, you fox. You trying to be my old lady? My old man will bug out. Hey, what's shaking? Let's blow this taco stand. Yeah, I can dig it. Ooh, you fat. What's up? No duh. You fly. You all that in a bag of shit. Boy, talk to the hand. What's up, boo? You the bomb. Let me get them digits. All right, you got flavor. <laughs> you got a bay? You thirsty? Are you farting? Love you. How slang words for hello evolved through the decades. Well, howdy ho. Hey, daddy o. How you been? Give me some skin. Peace, man. What it is, what it is. Yellow, what's crackin' late? Yo, what's up, home skillet? What's up? What's crackin'? What up? What's poppin'? Uh-uh, six feet. Well, I was just, I mean, I was just saying, what's up? Oh. So I seen everybody doing this, get naked for your boyfriend or girlfriend challenge and get their reaction. So, I figured I'd give it a try. <laughs> Babe. Oh shit, she in the shower. <laughs> she about to trip out. She got her clothes on the ground. Babe. Babe, look. Oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I don't have a girlfriend. Give me my shit. <sighs> Damn. Different ways to say, I really like you. We imbibing. That ass is fat. I'm crushing. I'm chilling. Oh, we caking. <laughs> How do you say, I really like you? <laughs> Different ways to say, you crazy. You tripping. You wildin'. You bugging. Or you lunching. How do you say you crazy? Yeah, that's Who's right. Tiffany? Who? Tiffany, who is she? I don't even know what you're talking about. Who's Tiffany? Look, I don't have to answer that. You're getting me out, girl. Chill. Hey, what you doing? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, hey. Tiffany, she's five five. She got brown eyes with curly hair. She lives at fifty five Walnut Street. And I mean, she got a nice ass. I mean, nothing like yours though. And the first time we hung out, and the second time I kissed her, but it didn't mean nothing. Wrong answer. Wrong. 